have you ever experienced things though where there was a conflict? So the broadcaster wants this and the athletes are like, we do not want that. Have you ever dealt with those? Or I, or maybe not. Maybe you think like everything has a way that can be synergized. Yeah, well, everything has a way to be synergized. If I'm smart enough at the time to think of the answer um, o overnight, then that's a different question. Um, and there's a lot of times when we have not been able to be synergized and someone has to either lose or win that immediate interaction, but then with the hopes of fixing it in the future so that it's not a consistent sore point, right? You, with most people are pretty forgiving and they they want to see the community grow. So they'll be willing to say, oh, Greg, I didn't quite agree with what you did there. I didn't like that. But you know what? I'll put up with it for this time, but can we chit chat about it after the event or whatever it is? Yes. And I'm very happy to then have that conversation. I'll give you an example. Um, and it's something we are fixing for this year um, is that we were saying, hey, guys, when you go to your qualifiers, so if you have a qualifier in Switzerland, the top three get to go to world champs. The top one place that gets a sponsorship from that trampoline park as a prize. So we cover, you know, the, I don't know, 1500 bucks or whatever the total is uh, to get, your, uh, get you over to London. Um, and then the others uh, have to get their own way there. We just cannot afford to fly people over and over. It's just, it can't be done. And most sports do not do this unless you've been around for many, many years and have huge sponsors, def definitely not in the infancy stage that we're still in. So everyone understands that. So they, oh, it's okay. No problem. You know, we had uh, Emily that uh, flew her own way and um, uh, Crystal that flew her own way from America just because they wanted to be part of it. So the, the, the vast majority of the community knows that this is just a reality, but they know that, hey, we're trying to get sponsors to cover you and go. I was saying, hey, guys, um, and I remember one of the flippers, I'll say, I won't say his name because I, I don't think that uh, matters, but he said, uh, I said to him, hey, it would be nice that even though you're second and third and even though the park is not really covering you, how about you tag them and promote them a little bit anyway, say thank you because they did still spend money to put on the qualifier so that you guys, and then we dump that money into the world champs. So you would, you would have a world champs without them. So you kind of owe them a Lisa thank you, you know, say, hey, maybe you give them a thank you by tagging them in some stuff. Well, no, they're not really representing. They're not really doing anything for me. Um, and so therefore, we're not doing it, Greg. I'm like, oh, but hold on. They are doing something for you because without them doing the structure, you don't, none of this exists. And you're just, again, in your backyard, you know, and all that sort of stuff. And we didn't quite see eye to eye. And I don't know if we will. I have to chit chat with this individual and a couple others that brought up a similar issue. Um, and we have to figure out what that looks like. Um, but then my solution again becomes, okay, well, let's just hunt for more sponsors so that we don't have to um, put uh, put the athletes promoting brands that aren't obviously helping them. But I still think that there should be a little bit of a thank you to the ones that have put in money into the pot, you know? So, but then at the same time, you look at it from their perspective, well, yeah, but I bought a trampoline and I have flown to all these other events over the years and not had a sponsor. And if you tally it up, the investment maybe it would be somewhat even. So this is unfair for me to ask that, you know what I mean? So there is always this kind of unknowing, you know, um, and solution. And the solution to me is always usually work harder. My dad, I used to play hockey as a kid, like a good Canadian. And his famous line was always when I was in the penalty box, <laughs> you know, is don't trip your opponent, just learn to skate faster. And that's it. And I always stick to that. Learn to skate faster. Even if the critics are trying to hook you and say stupid things that are uneducated and uh, unvalid in every way, and you know it, don't waste your time even turning around and addressing them. Just skate faster, and you'll forget that they even exist. You know, and I don't even remember any of my critics. They've all just now gone away because they're not getting me talking to them anymore and reciprocating their hate back and forth. Just skate faster. So with these, uh, you know, periodic conflicts, not too often. Most most of the time, it's hey, we're good, good, and. Everyone's like, yeah, let's go. Let's try this. And they're very happy about it. Um, and we have a very good approval rating or we wouldn't be still in charge, you know, we'll say. Um, I don't like to look at it like we're in charge. I'd say leading the pack, we'll say, you know, and trying to be like their coach, essentially. Um, but we have had bumps along the road for sure with the brands, too. You know, we had a live stream that didn't work last year. Uh oh, the brands weren't happy about that. I couldn't do anything about it because the guy runs up to me 10 minutes before the show starts and says, by the way, the satellite truck broke and I don't have a backup line because I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. So what do I do about that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, the show must still go on, but now we're paying that debt still because then the brand pulls back on their investment because of that issue. I have to ultimately pay that. But then I got to figure out that solution because I can't just go and call up the broadcast company and start complaining. Like, again, you don't waste your time tripping people. Just skate faster. Be smarter about how we pick our broadcast teams. Be smarter how we deal with the teams that we work with. Just be better. 
You know what I mean? And instead of focusing on meh, 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 blame game, you know, and all that, no, just focus on how you're going to be better, not oh, get yourself that's, into uh, that situation. That's your idea. And that's and uh, success, another tenet of my beliefs. Cures many ills, you know, both both uh, in community and people and also in uh, in real life. So 